All right, Peter Horton I have here. I have some serious questions for you. Can you walk me through sure. the whole pivotal moment in 30-something involving Gary Shepard? And I'll give you specific questions. Okay. Okay. So when you found out that Gary was not going to remain on the show, mm -hmm. how did you feel? Um, I was expecting that because it was part of the deal I made with them at the very beginning, uh, that after four years, if the show for some odd reason actually went, um, they'd kill me off after four years so I could go be a director again. And so I was expecting that, but what I wasn't expecting was the, the feeling of, of sadness at the thought of actually doing it, of actually leaving the show and how painful that was gonna be. Um, as excited as I was to kind of get out there and try and get back to, to directing and writing, um, being Gary Shepard for four years, being with that group of people, both the cast, the writers, and the crew even, all of it, um, it was hard to leave, much harder to leave than I expected it to. And so when we all gathered at the end to watch the episode where Gary dies, meaning the cast and I, and we all kind of got together at Melissa's house, uh, and Mel Melanie Marilyn's house. Um, it was really sad. We all kind of afterwards looked at each other, and as Tim Busfield said, I, I feel like we're in a plane that's going down, and one of our cast members just jumped out with a parachute. <laughs> Was it sad knowing they'd all be going back to work and you wouldn't? You had some scenes after that. I came I back as a ghost yeah. for a while. And by the time that season ended, we knew we were ended. We were ending. We weren't going to keep going. So it was made, I mean, initially it was like I didn't know that. I thought they'd keep going for a couple of years. But, and that was weird. I thought that they'd keep going and I wouldn't be there. But, but then it ended for everybody. And uh, so we all kind of... But the ending of the show really was when Gary died. It was a weird finality to it. That it I weird. think that, to me, that was the ending of the show. Yeah, yeah. I think everyone kind of felt that Like way. that episode. Yeah. It didn't even take another one or two yeah. or anything else. Yeah. After it aired, mm -hmm. what, what was life like for you? I, like right after that episode aired. Oh, that was wild. Um, there was a period of about six months, actually, where... I got a, a real sense of what it must be like to be like a real star, like Michael Jordan or one of those people, because everybody, everywhere I went, felt they had to say something. Um, you know, I got a million, oh my God, you're alive, or, or what's it like to be dead, you know? Um, I cried so hard when you died, why did, why did they do that? I mean, it just was constant everywhere I went for a while. Even one time I was walking across a field by myself, and there was someone coming the other way. And just the two of us and this girl, this woman looked at me and she says, oh my God, look who's here. <laughs> it was just two of us. This is Really Famous. I'm Kara Mayer Robinson, and I interview famous people. But I don't just interview them like your typical interview. I'm not really interested in those same old questions. Instead, I like to know who they really are and what they really think. Sometimes it's like listening to old friends catching up, and other times it's like eavesdropping on a therapy session.